and today I'm going to show you how you can subtract fractions using fraction circles to help. We're going to start with an easy one, then we're going to look at what happens when the first fraction is bigger than one whole. First we're going to look at one whole take away four sixths. As we are subtracting sixths, we need to look at our fraction circle which is split into sixths or six equal parts. As we are taking away four sixths, I'm going to take away four of the sixths away. So we are left with two six. So one whole take away four sixths equals two sixths. When you're subtracting fractions with the same denominator, the denominator doesn't change. This time we're going to look at what happens when the first fraction is more than one whole. We're going to work out one and two fifths take away four fifths. As the denominator is 5, we're going to use our fraction circles, which are split into fifths or five equal parts. We need to use more than one fraction circle as our first number is more than 1. We need to start with one whole fraction and two fifths or seven fifths altogether. And I'm going to take away four of the fifths. So we have three fifths left. So one and two fifths is the same as seven fifths. Take away four fifths and we are left with three fifths. Why don't you pause the video and have a go at some yourself. I'm going to give you the answers in three, two, one. One whole or ten tenths. Take away four tenths equals six tenths. One and three eighths or eleven eighths. Take away six eighths equals five eighths. One and four twelfths or sixteen twelfths. Take away nine twelfths equals seven twelfths. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye.